Hey guys, welcome back to another TypeScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to enable also compile and save in TypeScript. So I'm just going to create a new folder here. Uh, let's just say, oh, not inside of there. Uh, let's just create it here. And yeah, let's just call this compile on save TypeScript. So the reason you'd want to compile on save is because otherwise, what's going to happen is you're just going to end up um, just keep on compiling it when you really want to be focused on your task. So what I'm going to do is just create an index.html so we can actually see what's going on. And let's just initialize this. And let's just put in the script.js which is going to be generated by this. So now I can go over to here, go to our inspect element. Uh, let's just make this a bit bigger. Uh, I don't know why that's happening. Uh, oh, because script.ts doesn't exist yet. So, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is just compile this normally. Um, let's just go over to this over there and then let's just run npx tsc uh, script.ts like that. Alright, so now we have our TypeScript file. So, right now I can do something like console.log. Uh, written in TypeScript and you can do that but it's nothing's gonna happen until you compile it again uh, it compiles it and now it's here because it's actually compiled to this JavaScript file so that's useful right but you don't want to be compiling this every single time so instead what you can do is you can actually do this uh, special key combination so if you hold shift uh, command and B it will actually bring up this menu and it might be a bit different on Windows, it might be Shift Control B, but it should be similar. And if you bring that up, you can actually go here and you want to select TSC Watch and TypeScript slash TSC Config. Um, so this isn't actually the one we want, uh, but we can try it anyways. I actually don't believe it's going to work. Like if I change this now, yeah, that's not going to work because it's uh, not in the right file. So. Uh, we can just edit this, we can change this to be a different one and let's just create a quick uh, let's just create a quick script tsconfig in here so generate our tsconfig now we should be able to go over to here and just change this and we can just change this I believe to compile on Save, uh, save ts slash ts config. Oh, maybe we don't need these backslashes, and yeah, that should be enough. So now, if we run it again, we do actually start listening to this, and I think it should work now. I have that. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so those last parts shouldn't usually be necessary. Uh, usually you can just do it from the project directory. It's because I've already created a TypeScript config in a different file, so it's a bit confused as to which one to use. But after I've done that, it does work perfectly. So yeah, if you just bring up this menu, Shift, uh, I'm just going to cancel it. So Shift, Command and B, and it starts that again. And yeah. Now, once you've done that, you can actually just start typing in TypeScript like normal and save it, and it will actually also compile to JavaScript. So, first, let me get rid of that. If we save, you can see it's gone. Paste that back, and we can say auto compiled uh, from TS. Save that, and it actually comes up. So, Behind the scenes, it's just automatically compiling it every time you save it into this JavaScript file, which is then getting recognized by Live Server and then just getting refreshed over here. But yeah, that's how you auto compile to TypeScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!